Hey, yes, I got a haircut and I shaved a little bit. Um, got the haircut after I filmed this video though. So if you guys are liking what you see now, wait till next video. Uh, I just want to pop in here real quick and just be like, hey, I understand that the audio isn't the greatest in the beginning of this video. Uh, the past couple of videos I've been having a little bit of mic trouble. Um, that's not why I'm not using it right now. It's just because I don't want to go and grab them right now. But uh, I just want to say, yeah, I was having a bit of mic troubles. I couldn't figure out what was going on, but it was actually just user error. There was nothing wrong with my mics. I just didn't, I guess I just didn't know how to properly use them. And uh, I wasn't plugging them in fully. I wasn't, yeah, I'm not the smartest sometimes. But I got it figured out like halfway through this video. So towards the latter half, all the audio sounds better. So yeah, just want to pop in there and say that. Um, hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, and yeah, stay tuned. Halloween's in like two days. So that's awesome. Let's go. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm your Grim Grinning host, Blake, and we're back with it again for the third time or the third weekend uh, back to building this carnival. Uh, the hardest task of today is probably just going to be cleaning out all of this stuff uh, so that we have room to actually set up things. And then after that, it seems like it's just going to be a lot of fine touches on decorations and stuff like that. So without further ado, I'm just going to hop right into it and start cleaning this garage. So we got the garage cleared out for the most part. All I needed was to get the garage cleared out because this is where we hang uh, the tarps and stuff. So it's fine if things are cluttered past where this metal bar is. But we got all of our props. Just to show a few, we've got some stuff in there. We've got some signs and stuff. We've got, there's my mask, a couple of dolls, and for like blow up stuff that we're gonna use. Uh, there's a skeleton, some caution tape, and then we got this dummy right here. Let's lay everything out. And then we got our fog machines over here. So now we're gonna hang up the tarps. Now we're gonna hang up the tarps and go over what the layout is gonna be for this haunted area. So as you can see, we've put up the tarps uh, to make it look like a circus funhouse type vibe with the red and white stripes. We still got to put one right here on this side to enclose it, but obviously I didn't so you guys could see us in the time lapse. We're going to do that next though, but we did put up the cage right here uh, and I'm actually going to let Cam up. Uh, oh, hey, th did you get a new haircut? Yeah. Here. Well, it's good that you're standing here because <laughs> I'm just... I'm gonna let you explain what the whole idea with the cage is. So here, here you go. Come this way. So, uh, so basically, this cage is where I'm gonna be. 
because I'm going to be dressed up as the bear watch the skeleton. And, uh, you know, here's the pipes and everything. And then basically what we're going to do here is we're going to hang up a black tarp at the very end where those zip ties are. You see that? We're going to hang that up. And then I'm going to jump out of the kids like this, like, like that and scare them. So, yeah, that's the that's how we're going to do it. Nice. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys can see, well, we also got a little buddy right here that we're going to make him look a little bit more real. Uh, sorry, my camera work is not too good right now. But, uh, who, oh, you got a haircut. Yeah. <laughs> who's your buddy back there? Well, this guy. No, the other one. The oh, one who's guy. passed out right now. This is our uh, friend Brandon. You want to tell him what we're up to, Brandon? Yeah. We're working on Halloween stuff. We did a little bit of work off camera, uh, but my phone is about to die. So I'm gonna go let it charge for a little bit. Uh, we got old Skelly hanging out here. We got a bunch of props right here. Cam, you know, I put up this side right here and we put in this black tar piece. We're gonna cut, a, I'm guessing we're cutting a slit in, in this black one right here so that he'll pop out. But this is what they'll see when they walk in. But once we get it all up and running, which looks like it could be tonight, I'll take you on like a little, ah. yep. <laughs> I'll take you guys on a little mock walkthrough to see what it looks like. But we also got tomorrow, so we'll see how that goes. But I'm gonna go charge my phone for a little bit. So we ran into more problems. Uh, we had this tarp right here that we were gonna use as like a tunnel entrance right here. And it was gonna have like these, you know, fun house mirrors and stuff like that. And we we're gonna hang up these, you know, same sort of striped tarps to make like a little hallway but the wind just kept coming out of nowhere we have not had issues with wind up until this point and it these things being so brittle it just kept tearing and we just we just had to scrap the idea so we're gonna hang tarp right here to block off this and then we're gonna call it a night first night and then i'll pick back up in the morning so i'm going to we'll just show you that and then that'll be it Okay, so as you can probably see right here, uh, what we did last night in terms of hanging up the uh, the tarp or whatever in the garage, in the frame of the garage door, uh, the wind was just making it too hard to do, especially because we had to uh, use red duct tape to kind of seal it together because uh, we had to use three different pieces because you can see over here that these are how big these pieces are. This one panel is how wide this thing is. And that's just not gonna cover the entire garage door. So we had to tape three different pieces together and the wind just wasn't letting us do it as we were hanging them up. So we had to take them all down, lay them all out flat on the ground and then tape them. And now we're gonna hang it back up because it got too late and we were tired. So this is what it looks like from the inside. Cam's trying to get out now because we haven't cut a door. We're gonna cut a door here on this side and the exit door on that side. Today, it is crunch time because we don't have any time during the week to do 
any of this stuff. Cam might have an hour here and there, but I I don't have time to come after work and he doesn't have time because he has two jobs he goes to right after, one right after the other. So we don't have time. So I couldn't really record too much today because we just needed to be not distracted and get a lot of stuff done. But so we did get a lot done off camera. So I want to show you guys that now. But before I head in there, I just want to go ahead and say this is like a not necessarily a family friendly type thing. It is kind of gory um, in some parts fake. All of it's fake. I'm just going to say that for, you know, any YouTube moderators out there. This is all fake. But all this stuff is, you know, not not your goosebumps type stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's just go. I'm just going to show you three, two, one. Starting off, we have something that's not too bad. This is the ticket booth that we built that you guys from the first video. Oh, there's Cam. Uh, we're going to put a sign up there that says Buzzkill's Carnival. And that's my character, Buzzkill. We've got our doll dressed up. But he's got the dogs out right now. Oh, he's broke. He broke his foot. He's got the dogs out. we got to find a way to make him look like he's D-E-A-D -E out here. And then we've got the entrance over here. We've got some poster board to make the signs and stuff. So we walk in here. It's a mess right now because we got we haven't cleaned. There's Cam. <laughs> we got some lights. It'll look better with that light back there. It's off. There's where I will be standing. There's a severed head. There's the cage where Cam's going to come out. That is a doll with some clothes on hanging. I, I had an idea after I hung up the lights. I thought about hanging them with the lights. It would have looked so cool, but I didn't think about it. Here, pop out like you're going to. Okay, they're gonna walk, walk around and they're not gonna see them. It's gonna, yeah. Yeah, they're gonna have like a strip of black uh, behind there. So yeah, so you can't really see. But yeah, pop out. Probably not like that. <laughs> it all just falls and destroys. So yeah, let's not. <laughs> yeah, just all right. So yeah, uh, Cam made this last Halloween. It actually held up pretty well. Just a styrofoam mannequin head that he painted. This is a wig. We put nails into the wig uh, that went into the styrofoam to make it look, you know, like it's actually on there. What are you saying? Like this concept, I mean, we probably have to do something different. I think the sign's already got scared on all over the place. Then put something on there, like gotcha or something like that. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. You'll have to get cardboard. Anyways, so that's what it looks like. Just want to kind of update you guys. I'll try to film a little bit more from here on out. But like I said, it's kind of crunch time. It's kind of crunch time, so I'll uh, I'll keep you guys updated. We are going to make this skelling skellington. So I'm thinking of Jack skeleton look more real because it just looks like plastic right now, like a cheap spirit Halloween skeleton. We're gonna make it look real. Um, I'm not sure how Cam knows how to do this apparently, or he knows of a YouTube video that will show him. But we're gonna make that look real. So. Let's run that. <laughs> this skeleton is like, whoa, dude. You guys ever heard of like boundaries, bro? <laughs> no. <laughs> I just want to show you guys what exactly we are doing because I'm actually kind of figuring this out now that came was showing me. But when you wrap the plastic around this, what you do is this heat gun will actually shrink it to the skeleton, making it look like decayed skin and flesh. And after we've, you know, melted this the plastic wrap to the skeleton, we will throw some black and red paint and fake blood stuff to make it look like you know, skin, gore, stuff like that. Let's 
so we've got this plastic wrap melted around this skeleton uh, he just showed me the next part he's got some expanding foam that is uh, supposed to make it look like skin and guts and stuff like that real gross stuff I'm warning you right now based off of the picture that I just seen which is what it's supposed to look like this is not for the faint of heart this is this looks pretty real so I just want to go ahead and say if you don't like any of that stuff uh, please probably don't watch the rest of this video I know it sucks but sorry This guy is being spray painted to look like he's just flesh. Right now, Cam's just going over it with the black spray paint. We've got some, uh, yeah, it's like a base. We've got some red spray paint coming out after this. He kind of just looks like he's charcoal at this point. And then we'll have some fake blood on him and stuff. It's turned out really well. He looks like he just had a run-in with Art the Clown, to be honest. Something overkill. Uh, but while Cam was doing this, because I kind of felt... I don't want to say useless doing this, you know, with him, but I feel like I could be doing something else, especially because it's all, it's like nine o'clock and we have work in the morning and again, time crunch. So I went ahead and put up the lights on the ticket booth and painted this right here. Buzz kills carnival. It looks silly. It looks goofy like a child, but I'm kind of leaning into that sort of character because we're, we're making a lore for these characters. I'll have to explain it to you guys at some point, but uh, yeah, I put some LED shirts right here. I didn't stick them on because I felt like loosely, you know, putting them on would look better because it's like ribbon kind of. And also if it does happen to rain in between today, Sunday and Thursday, Halloween, we can easily take them off because we are not planning on moving any of this stuff until after Halloween. But yeah, we got old, old uh, doll man right here with his dogs still out. And uh, we've got the lights still going on in here. Oh, he just made up stationary. But we had we had the lights like flickering and stuff. And yeah, we just gotta clean up a little bit. We're gonna have some fog pumping in here. It's gonna look good. Okay, here we have the final product. Of what? We're almost yeah, almost the final product. Uh, we just gotta let it dry, but it does look pretty realistic. Let me get in there a little bit. Hopefully not stain. I don't know what I just stepped on, but hopefully not stain my shoes. But yeah, it looks pretty freaking gory if you ask me. Art the Clown definitely got a hold of this little this little fellow right here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So now we're gonna go put some blood on our costumes. We're slowly starting to wrap up at least the part that I can be a part of because I still got the drive home and stuff. So I got about an hour left here, and if Cam wants to stay up and do any more, then he can. We we yeah, we're probably gonna have to be doing some after. All right, how do you think we should do? Probably some splatters on your face. Okay. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. I still think we should wear white balls on them, but do you want to put some on the tip of this? I don't know if it'll stick to that. Hmm. It's not paint. Like maybe it will. We can try. I mean, I was scared. <laughs> no sleep, chill. Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what you need to do, Blake, is honestly put a paper towel in your hand, take a glob of it, and just... Dark red and it's matted. It looks more matted than anything. And it's gonna be sticky, so... So... Open your mouth. 
That was good. I'm kind of doing lines instead of swipe. Close your eyes and stuff. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. I don't have my mic out here, but I do want to go ahead and do my outro as I am about to leave right after I take off this costume. But um, again, after, as I say after every video, I thank anybody who's supported this channel and watched this little series that I've been doing in terms of Halloween and stuff. It's been a lot of fun. Can't wait for Thursday. Can't wait for Halloween. Uh, go ahead and put in the comments what your, uh, what your costume is going to be. Um, I'm curious to see what you guys are going to be for Halloween. But I hope you guys have liked this. I'm uh, putting a lot of hard work into it. And uh, who knows? Maybe we'll, maybe we'll have another series next year for this Halloween. But go ahead and give this video a like. Give it a comment. Give it a um, a share share with um if you know any zookeepers that deal with bears share it with them and yeah go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well if you guys like what you see it really does help me out i'm a very appreciative of it and uh yeah as always i've been your grim grinning host blake i've also been your ringmaster buzzkill and i'll see you guys in the next video